Hey guys, it's Future at Gaflos here, and before you get into the intro or the video, I must make you guys aware that there is a part later on where there's going to be a slight, well, I don't want to call it a rant, but more of a slight airing of frustration. You'll see why later on. In fact, I'll timestamp it into the description down below uh, so that you guys could see what's going on. And I think you guys will probably agree with me as to why I have a certain, uh, well, airing of grief, if you will, with, the, you know, certain outcomes in this particular run. So it's a little bit unfortunate that happens. I'm not going to reveal too much, but I'm pretty sure you guys will agree with me. And uh, if Riot, if you are watching this, I think it's really important that you address this issue because it's potentially problematic into the path of champions. It's possibly also, you know, unplayable in my opinion. But that's just me. I'll let you guys decide for yourself. So on to the video. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Akafalos and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions in Legends of Runeterra. We're going to be doing the 4 slot targeting campaign against Aurelian Sol and we're going to be using Vayne for today's run. So this is an adventure that I am looking forward to quite simply because as we all know Vayne is a fairly aggressive champion if you have played the Path of Champions of course. And I think she might do fairly well against the Aurelian Sol so that's why we're looking forward to use her today. But anyway let's quickly go over the build real quick. So I am going with a level 20 and 2 star Vayne here in terms of the Star Powers, Night Hunter, plus one starring mana when an ally is equipped, give it scout this round. It must do something. Round start if you have the attack token and fewer than two equipments in hand, create a golden spatula. Now I am missing out on the second iteration of the it must do something, which will basically just give a random keyword to the golden spatula. But I think the first iteration is still okay. The only difference is, like I said, we're just missing out on the keywords, which is just perfectly fine. Alright, so let's quickly head back out. In terms of the champion level, I am going with a level 20 vein. That means I do have access to the hero's welcome here. I am missing out on the 40 starting next itself at level 28 and the third relic slot at the level 30, but I think it should be all right. Now, in terms of the relics, I am going with a Troll King's Crown and an Archangel Staff. And the reason for this is quite simply because we are going to be getting a lot of buffed up attack stats on the Vayne cards. Uh, not only Vayne herself, but you know, the rest of the deck. So the Overwhelm could be really, really useful. And since she comes on really, really cheap, uh, basically the effect could be pretty much instant, more or less. All right, in terms of the Archangel Staff round, start with Vilia Spell, man. This is going to be really, really useful with the Tumble. I think this is probably going to be only useful for one turn uh, because once Vayne levels up, the Tumble will get down to a zero cost. So the the Archangel Staff will be basically obsolete. The only reason why we're going with this is so that we could play aggressively from the get-go, which I think is going to be important into the ASOL. All right, so let's quickly head back out and we are going to get this adventure started. Alright, we're all loaded in. First things first, let's see what the Aurelian Sol is running. He has a level up here, which isn't too great. Yasuo is a unstable inventory, Poppy is unyielding, and Zoe is power overwhelming. Okay, not too bad. I think this could be a little bit problematic if the ASOL has a lot of cheap champions. I'm hoping it doesn't. Anyway, let's quickly head back. We are gonna head to the first power node and see what we pick up. Chrono Break, Stabilize, and Sparring Student. I think we're gonna reroll here. Something like a... What is it? A Rally could actually be really, really good, actually. Let's see if we can make that work. Uh, Fleeting Zero Cost, Rush Them Down, Grit. I think we're gonna reroll again. Round start stun the strongest enemy seems interesting. It could be really, really useful. Grow my health to match my power when an ally survives damage granted plus one, plus one. I think we're just gonna go with the stun here because it seems like a really good one. All right, let's head to the Zoe here. All right, so we don't get the attack token, but we get some fairly expensive cards. We will probably don't need that many equipments. We will get rid of one Damas in Steel and the Fish Fight. We will probably keep the Wolf Dog. We are guaranteed a Vein draw on turn one, which is great. Alright, so here's the plan. I am not even gonna bother bringing on the Zealous Ranger Knight because it is uh, an elusive here. That Zoe is just gonna deal damage, so there's really no point. We're gonna pass the turn. We'll bank our mana for the next turn. That way we could bring on the Golden Spatula on the vein and attack simultaneously. All right, golden spat. Uh, sorry, vein first, and then golden spat. Polarity 
Okay, I think this is what we can do. We can actually play a Faithful Wolf Dog here. Actually, no. It might be worth to play the Condemn and kill the... Oh, the Zoya Spell Shield. I forgot about that. Um... I think I have an idea here. Let's put on the Damasian Steel first. Uh, let me just calculate my mana. We have one, three, and three. So that's going to be a total of seven. We also have seven mana, which is perfect. I have an idea here, actually. It's a little bit unorthodox, but I think you'll see what I'm trying to do. Let's put on the Damasian Steel here. Onto the vein. I have a, I have a rough idea. It's a little bit unorthodox, but I think it's going to work. We will take the five damage here. It's cool. Alright, we'll play Faithful Wolf Dog. We'll get the Golden Spat. No, this might be better. This might be better. Tumble uh, on the vein. Golden Spat. And then we'll probably get the Faithful Wolf Dog on. I think, I, I think that's the plan. You'll see what I mean. We should get three attacks here if I'm not mistaken. Or is it two? I think it's two. Let's resolve this. Alright, Wolf Dog on. We'll get the Damasian Steel. Uh, okay, two attacks because, you know, we have already triggered a scout. I think the free attack... No, the free attack probably works after that on an attacking turn. You'll see what I mean. There's actually a way to get three attacks with the vein, which is kind of crazy. But, yeah, I don't think that was uh, available on that defensive turn there with the rallies. Okay, so it's still good. Let's go ahead and just track this 2-2 here. Every last monster will be purged. Alright, I think you guys have a rough idea of, you know, what I'm trying to achieve here with the vein, what I'm trying to accomplish here with the vein. But let's go ahead and grab some rewards first. We have a mobilize with a cost reduction. That could be great, so we're going to pick that up. But yeah, if we're lucky and if we play it right, we could actually get consistent three attacks if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's head to the support champion here. Right, we get a Tarich, we get a Darius, and we get a Lux. If I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really like any of these. The, well, the, I think the Darius could probably be the best because the Legion Grenadier here has a mana deposit. And at the same time, the Darius is uh, fairly aggressive, so it could work well with the Vein here. With the Scout especially, that could be great. Savage Shield is also not bad. I think we're just going to go with the Darius here. Alright, we have a healer node, a slot bot, as well as a champion item chest. We are definitely going to want to head to the champion item chest, so we're going to take on the Sajwani. Alright, let's get rid of some units here. We'll probably keep the Legion Grenadier. We don't need that many Zealous Ranger Knights, so I think we might even just get rid of all of them. Let's see if we could, you know, get a Vein. Because we can summon two Grenadiers here, which is great. And we do get the Vein, wonderful. Fight or die. Grenadier. Doesn't really matter, we can just bring on another one. Alright, we'll even drop the Steadfast Elk here. The Winter's Claw. Alright, so I think I have a plan. Let's attack first. Oh, we can't do that. All right, so this is the thing. This is, uh, hopefully I can, you know, word it here correctly. If we had a tumble, right, and if we attack first, we can use the tumble, give an equipment to the vein, get the scout, it's going to trigger the free attack, and, you know, that free attack scout, that's going to trigger one more, you know, because it's scout, we're going to get another additional attack. So if, you know, if my mathematics is correct, and if I explain that well, that's going to amount to three attacks per turn. So that's kind of crazy, but... Yeah, we can't do that because we don't have the tumble yet, which is kind of unfortunate. But I think it's fine. We're just going to drop the vein here. It's cool. Those who kill innocents are no more than veins. 
All right, let's put on a Damasian steel. Uh, we'll actually give it to. We'll actually give it to the Ranger. Uh, what is it? The Elkling here, because it gets a tough. We could negate the one damage from the Poro. That could be kind of crazy. Uh, oh, it's gone up too. Okay, it's cool. We are. Uh, we should still be able to negate some damage, which I think is decent. All right, and now we'll attack. Okay, this is where the brilliant plan might work, I think. Uh, no, it's on a defensive turn, which is not gonna work, but it's still cool. It's still it's still okay. Uh, let's go with a tumble. We're gonna equip Fane, and we're gonna give her the golden spat here. Actually, no, this might be better. Let's put on the steadfast elk first. Okay, we'll block with this guy. Alright, there we go. Tumble, Vein, Golden Spat. There we go. If this was on a attacking turn, the, you know, this that scout and as well as the second attack would have been the, uh, you know, the additional two attacks with, uh, aside from the regular attacking turn. So that's gonna be three in total, which is kind of crazy. Alright, so let's just go ahead and attack like so. We'll drag this guy here and we should get the victory. Alright, cool. So we get a Shunpo here, Laurent Duelist with the Challenger and the Atacon here. I think we might just go to Shunpo, that rally could be useful. So I think the idea with Vayne that we're trying to build here is just to get consistent attacks. Alright, so let's go to Shunpo. Alright, so we have a Jin as well as a Karma here. We are definitely going to want to head to the Jin because I want this champion item chest. Let's see what we get here. Uh, Colossal Hammer isn't too bad. I really want a quick attack, though. That could be useful. Nah, the Colossal Hammer is better because we can bring on Vayne really, really early. That Colossal Hammer could be kind of massive. All right, we'll pick this up. We can, of course, get quick attacks later on at the other champion, uh, you know, item rewards or something. All right, let's head to the Jin here. We get a Vayne. Great. We get two Widow Huntresses. Let's get rid of one of it. We'll probably even get rid of the Condemn. It should be okay. I'm not sure if this is the right call here. The Condemn could be really useful in the zero cost. Yeah, we'll probably keep it the next time. It was a little bit risky for me, all things considered. Agent Grenadier on. No unit summoned. Steadfast Elk. Probably could have banked mana there. That way we could have, you know, gotten a uh, vein with the Golden Spat there. It's cool. We'll just still drop the vein. It's fine. Monsters still lurk in Demacia's every shadow. I can do this. Right, we're gonna attack with everything. One damage your Nexus, it's cool. We should be able to close out the game before that Jin comes on. So that's the whole idea with Vayne, I guess. You know, to close out the game before uh, the AI summon stuff. And that stun is gonna help us out a lot as well. So I'm kind of thankful we picked that up. Let's, get uh, let's go ahead and play Tumble here. We'll get the Vayne, we'll go with a Golden Spat. Green one, it's fine. Mm, we can just attack again and we should get the victory. No problemo. Beautiful. Alright, we get a minus one cost on the golden spatula is big. That way we could, you know, essentially easily bring that on. So we're going to pick this up for sure. Alright, let's go ahead and head to the spells chest here. We are going to grab something. Minus one cost with double valor seems great. Troll chant with a random one cost poro seems fine as well. And tomb obliterate a unit. I think we might just go with a troll chant. It's cheap and at the same time we get a health buff in case we need to play it. And we also get a random one cost poro. It's definitely better than a redouble valor, I think, in my opinion. We're going to pick this up. Alright, let's head to the shop here. 
uh, we want a power of course we get a higher education not the best not the best power but still fairly decent we'll pick this up in terms of the cards i don't think we need anything the intimidating raw stun all enemies i don't think we need that uh we don't really need the corsair as well i think yeah i don't think we need any of these we're just gonna leave it here all right let's head to the poppy You know, now I'm actually realizing unyielding could be a little bit problematic because essentially that's going to drag out the battle even longer. Uh, I expect to end this in turn 5 or something, not, you know, and it's probably going to be a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit longer than usual. Alright, school. cool. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to keep this. This seems fine. Let's hope we can draw a vein here. Might actually should, you probably should have, you know, hard reroll that death's hand there. And we get the dares, which isn't great. Okay, we do get the vein. Nice. Grenadier. Second Grenadier. Uh, Vayne on. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. You best believe. Golden spat first. Swift death. Perfect. See how fast we can end this. Who's gonna get in my All right, Poppy's gonna come on here. Just have to survive a little bit. I think we should be fine. All right, team, adventure time. I'm definitely not gonna free attack here because this is stupid. We need to find. We need to stall out the turn so that we can stun this Poppy. Uh, let's go ahead and probably play a Death's Hand and just get rid of this elusive here. We have nothing to equip with the wolf dog here. We can actually do this. We can actually play quick uh, fish fight. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, the you know the gears are turning in my head. <laughs> All right, we'll play fish fight here. And oh, we don't have enough mana. Tumbles at three cost. This is at two. Ah, okay. So what I wanted to do, let me just quickly explain my brilliant plan, which essentially all fell apart. I wanted to kill the poppy there, sit with the fish fight there, and with the tumble, I thought we could re-equip the golden spat and then attack, but we didn't have enough mana. <laughs> okay, it's cool. At the very least, I think what we can do is uh, we're probably just gonna go ahead and grab the wolf dog here. Um, we'll give it the Damasian steel. We'll give it. We'll give it the Damasian steel. I think I have a plan here. A brilliant plan, potentially. End the round. I know I know we're gonna lose a scout here, but it's fine. And this is actually what I intended to do from the beginning. You'll see what I mean. Alright, so we're gonna attack with all what we've got. This is a brilliant plan, by the way. If all goes well. One damage is fine. Unless it doesn't... Pr provided it doesn't summon a poppy, we're okay. Okay, we're safe. Alright, so this is what I wanted to do. Uh, we have enough for a tumble here. Actually, we can bring on more units. I think we'll do that. Yeah, we definitely can. Right, let's put on the Steadfast Elkling first. You, you, you see what I mean? This is a brilliant plan. Widow Huntress, we'll probably give the... We'll just give one of the Golden Spats. It's fine. We have enough mana to play the tumble here. What we can do is we could just equip the Vein. Yeah, we'll equip the Vein. Last monster will be purged. A sentinel's work is never done. Well, we couldn't get that third attack off, but I think you got the idea. We, we get to, you know, get we, we get to get consistent attacks with the vein, uh, especially that third attack from the tumble there. It's cool. All right, we get a quick strike blade here. Play, I start a free attack. I don't want this because essentially that could interfere with the scout potentially. Um, Phage might be a better option. It's a fairly aggressive one as well. We could get a massive, massive vein. I ideally want a quick attack, but you know, even if we don't get a quick attack, we can potentially offset some of that with uh, getting a lot of stat buffs essentially. So that could be fairly useful. We're gonna pick up the Phage here. 
All right, let's head to the power node. Let's see if we could get something busted, like a rally or something. We get overwhelm, which isn't great because we already have that. I think we'll spend one reroll here and see if we could get something better. Oh, we get a second stun. This could be amazing. We're going to pick this up. <laughs> Two stuns is better than one. All right, so we have a Tom Kenji with perfected mana flow. Ash with the unyielding. I think we might just go with the Ash here because it seems like a much easier um, enemy to deal with than the Tom Kench. Hopefully I'm right. And I also want this champion item chest uh, compared to anything else here. Okay, so we're going to head to the Ash. Alright, we'll get rid of the Death's Hand. Uh, we'll probably get rid of the Wolf Dog. No, we'll not get rid of the Wolf Dog. We'll keep that. We should be fine. We should be able to draw the Vein because, you know, we, we have upgraded her quite a bit. There we go. Legion Grenadier. Steadfast Elk. End the round because it doesn't want to attack. Cool. Ash will come on on the following turn, which gives us a lot of time to prepare. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to attack first. No, we'll not do that. Right, right, because we don't have the tumble yet. Let's bring on the vein. Monsters still lurk in Demacia's every shadow. There. Golden spot. spat, we'll give it to Vayne. Unless it frostbites us, of course. I forgot about the frostbite. This could be fairly annoying. Which I'm hoping is not gonna be a problem, especially into the uh uh you know, as the late as the battle drags on with the ash here. But I think the stun should be able to nullify that, hopefully. Let's just commit this first. This is what we'll do. Let's play a fish fight. Yeah, I think this is the plan. Alright, so we're gonna play a fish fight. We get rid of the spatula. That way the vein might not get, you know, uh, frostburn next turn. Actually, she will still get frostburn because she's the uh, highest attacking unit. Which is kind of sad, actually, but I think we should be able to make use of something. Alright, let's go ahead and commit this. I think I have an idea. Show me a target. Guide me. Alright, this one can't block, which is kind of sad. We'll probably put this guy here and the vein. Oh, we can't block with the vein. It's cool. So I have to sack the steadfast air elkling here. It's not wise to play the condemn because you know we don't get the we don't get the cost reduction, and there's probably more units we can play which are better. We're gonna commit here. That ash is gonna get stunned next turn, regardless. So it could be fairly decent. Uh, let's play the grenadier. Alright, let's not play anything yet. Let's pass the turn. Let's end around. Got a couple of frostbites on the vein, but it's cool. We have the uh, you know um, health advantage here. We're gonna attack first. There's a scent in the air. Right, can kill that guy, it's fine. Can't afford to miss. Run while you can. Okay, this is what we'll do. Let's put on the wolf dog. Golden spat. She looks more capable than most people. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the plan. Uh tumble here. Let's go ahead and give Vayne this uh, this golden spat. Oh, actually, we should have attacked with this guy because he is the 6-6. Six, six. All right, it's cool. It's a minor mistake, but it's fine. We should have a victory here because we have to shun with a rally in case we don't get the damage. All right, we're going to attack again. By my hand, I will end their suffering. I actually forgot about the unyielding here. <laughs> well, it's fine, it's fine. What we can do is we can actually play Condemned. It's a zero-cost Condemned. Let's kill this guy. That way, this 4-2 survives and we get more... Damage that way, I believe. Should 
Shunpo will get rid of this 4-2. Uh, let's grab a Ravenous Flock, I think. Given Ally Challenger this round, if it's equipped draw one, we'll just grab the Ravenous Flock. Could be useful. Alright, we've already triggered a scout, so that's to confirm. We're gonna attack again. And then, I think we'll probably kill this 2 2, because that way this 4 2 will die and we get the Nexus damage. Alright. Stun and stun. Uh, zero cost tumble here is fine. What I think we'll do is we'll probably just play a ravenous flock and kill this four tree here. Crystal arrow. I think it should be okay because we can, we can't play the tumble. There's no damage to play here actually. Uh, well, not no damage. We can get one damage with the vein, but I don't think it's that great. <laughs> we'll probably still play it though. It's fine. Alright, tumble. Uh, we should be creating it consistently, right? Create a zero cost tumble in hand every round start. Alright. So we'll go tumble, we'll just go with a vein here. It's not gonna be that useful, like I said, it's only one damage, but it's still better than nothing. Show them the way. Uh let's go ahead and grab a kind hearted recruit. I think it should be fine. My sister's no monster vein. You'll see. Is that so? Then where did you get Lots of that? Poros. It's fine, it's fine. Say your prayers. It's getting it's going a little bit longer than expected, but uh, I think I think this is probably the downside of the frostbite deck. Uh we'll not play the mobilize yet, we'll pass the turn. Alright, we'll just attack first. All right, we get a win. Cool. A sentinel's work is never done. Yeah, a little bit slow there because of the frostbite. I think, it, but I think it should be fine. We get a Citria here as well as a Shadowblade fanatic. Get once you've equipped an ally, this one create a Shadow Fiend in hand. And I'm summoning Raphael, your mana could be kind of useful. Quick attack and overwhelm is not too shabby if I'm gonna be honest. I think we're just gonna pick this up. Alright, so we have a Mazic Investigator here, but I'm going to want to head to the Champion Item Chest. Uh, free attack and the Challenger again on the vein. When I'm summoned, I capture the strongest enemy. Uh, you know what, we'll just go with the free attack. It, I, I think it's trying to tell me something. Maybe the free attack could be useful, so we'll just scrap this. Right, we have an Ezra with Unyielding, uh, Fiora with Unstable Inventory. I think we're going to head to the Fiora here and then head to the shop. It seems like a much easier bet compared to the Ezra in my opinion. Alright, we'll get rid of the Fnatic and the Ranger Knight. Actually, we'll keep the Ranger Knight since it's a 2 cost. We'll probably get rid of Fish Fight and the Wolf Dog as well. Uh, no, we'll probably want to keep the Wolf Dog. Could be useful. No, we'll keep the Ranger, we'll keep the Fnatic, we'll get rid of the Wolf Dog, and we'll keep the Fish Fight. Let's hope we draw a Vein here. Oh, Darius, why? Why Darius? We don't need the Darius. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll drop the Ranger Knight. We should be able to get the Vein. Hopefully. If we don't get the Vein, it could be bad. We're gonna attack. We might want to hard reroll the Vein moving forward. We'll have to see. Well, good thing is we have the stun there, which is fairly decent. Uh, let's go ahead and I think go with a... Shadowblade Fanatic here. Yes, a weapon to cut through the shadows. Mana refill. I know that Fiora's gonna come on. Uh, I tell you what, we're gonna bring on the Fateful Wolf Dog. I know we're giving up the Golden Spatula here, but I think it's important to get the, uh, you know, damage straight off the bat. So yeah, we'll grab the Spatula on the Wolf Dog. We're gonna lose the Scout here, but it's fine. I want to attack before this Fiora attacks because that Fiora is just going to get double stats, so that's why we're going to attack here. Save your world. We speak 
Alright, we're gonna pass. That Fiora's gonna get stunned, which is perfect. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play Shunpo and kill this 2-2. Uh, we're gonna go with the Arachnoid Sentry here. It's a challenger on the Citria. Which is perfectly fine. Arachnoid Sentry, I think we have to stun this 4-5. We have to give up these spatulas here. Alright, well, attack straight up. Alright, beautiful. Alright, we get a regeneration on the Golden Spatula, which could be useful. Ephemeral on the Shadow Blade is not great at all. Repose with the Mage's Handbook, given Ally plus Reap plus and Barrier, could be useful. Uh, but I think we're just gonna go with the regeneration on the Golden Spat. Could be more important. Okay, let's go to the shop here. Grab a power, of course. We get a Chrono Break, which isn't the greatest, but it seems fine. Do we want to grab this, however? Because uh, this is adding to the deck, which I don't really like. Because essentially, that's going to mean there's going to be a lot of extra cards here. But this could be a useful one, don't get me wrong. The Rally as well as the Revive. Even if we don't get any deaths on the, uh, you know, on our side here, we can just use the Rally and it's still fairly great. I think we'll just pick it up. It's fine. Alright, in terms of cards here, I don't really see anything that useful on first glance. Actually, there is a Zealous Ranger Knight is fine with the free attack. We're going to grab that. One copy. Alright, we're going to leave, and we are probably going to want to head down to the Katarina here, because that's another shop note. This is a item chest, right. So we're going to head to the Katarina. Unyielding is not too great, especially with the cat, but I think it should be fine. Alright, attack token. Uh, we get the Vania, which is great. We will probably want to get rid of the Shadow Blade and the Mobilize. We'll keep the Shunpo in case we need the Rally. Oh, we don't get any cheap units, which is kind of sad. That cat's going to come on next turn. Yeah, we're going to have to pass. We can't do anything. No going back. Wait, the, oh, the cat has the ancient coin. Okay, okay. Oh, if we could bring on the vein, that would be great. We're going to pass the turn here. I can't really do anything. Oh, what am I worried about? I forgot that we had the stun. <laughs> we had to hold it here, which is kind of crazy. I totally forgot about that. All right, we're going to drop the vein here. Alright, no we're not going to play Golden Spat yet. Actually, we can't play Golden Spat, but we don't have to rally. Uh, I think it's fine. We'll just hang on to the Golden Spat. Uh, no, we should actually clear out our hand of equipments. That way we could, uh, you know, c consistently generate some cards. Alright, I think we're just still uh, uh, equip the Golden Spat here. It's cool. Alright, we're going to attack first, straight up. Oh, we actually get a win here. Wonderful. Tumble. We'll just equip another Golden Spat. Free attack scout. Even if it stuns us, it's fine. Uh, I think we might just play aggressively here. Let's just go with the kind-hearted recruit. My sister's no monster vein. You'll see. Golden spat. So. Then where did you get that scar? Eight damage. I will release them from their pain. Good stuff. Alright, we'll drop this guy first. Power lurks darkness. No one's the wiser. Uh, let's... Do tree and kill this guy. I know we can definitely get the win here. I just want to, you know, prevent some potential threats, actually. I'll try anyway. 
Alright, good enough. We'll go tumble and we'll probably attack with this fellow. We'll go with a golden spatula here. Actually, hold on. It might be better to use Vayne on that. Yeah, that's definitely better. Vayne and the golden spatula. More damage that way. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's get a good look at you. A sentinel's work is never done. All right, nice. We get immobilize, a prismatic berry, and a Durand sculptor. I think we might just go to mobilize here. Uh, although we're not playing it, it should be okay. All right, let's head to the shop. We're gonna grab a power, of course. We get an enfeebling strike when you damage it, and we reduce its power by the damage shell. I really wish we got a better power than this, but it's fairly useful as well, so we'll just pick it up, since we have the extra gold too. I don't really think we need any cards at this point, uh, so I think we're just gonna leave here. We're gonna head to the healer. One health is fine. I think we'll just cut a card instead. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't think we need the... Where is it? Where is it? The troll chant could be useful. Actually, I like all of these, so I don't know. I don't think there's going to be any cards that we want to cut. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just keep this. It's fine. Oh, you know what? Let's cut the troll chant. I don't think we need that. It's fine, it's fine. Let's head to the Yasuo. Alright, we get the vein and the Death's Hand. We're going to get rid of the Death's Hand and the Kind-Hearted Recruit. We'll probably keep one copy of it, right? No, let's get rid of all of it. Because we need to summon cheap units into the Yasuo. Jin Grenadier. I know this guy's gonna get stunned, but it's cool. Now, I know that Yasuo's gonna come on, but since we have a free attack on Vayne, we're gonna at uh, attack with the Vayne first. Monsters still lurk in Demacia's every shadow. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Alright, so here's the beauty of the, uh, you know, the stat buffs that we pick up. We can just go with a golden spatula here on the Vayne. And this should be the first scout we get, right? Yeah, this is the first scout we get. Uh, we get a Condemn as well. We can actually play that. There we go. Wonderful. Oh, we actually get a turn one win here. <laughs> Kinda crazy. Uh, well, not exactly a turn one win, but a turn two win. Turn one because, you know, I didn't get the attack token. Expertly done. Now to root out the next... All right, we get a savage shield. Crazy stuff on the vein. We're gonna pick this up. No question about it. All right, let's set the power here. Summon a two-cost unit from your deck, Light in Wait. We're gonna grab the Out the Gates. This seems crazy because we can attack on turn one, and if we have the attack token, uh, we can just get the Golden Spatula onto the unit and immediately attack. Sting Officer is also kind of great, actually, because it has Elusive. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me just double check. Let me just see. Let me evaluate our options here first. Some of the two cost from two cost unit. We have only the Legion Grenadier and the Zealous Ranger Knight. Ah, all right. I think the okay. All things considered, in a normal circumstance, I think the out the gates would be better. But since we have the Sting Officer, it's an elusive, and we could get a what is it a um. Uh, uh, the, the golden spatula on the elusive and we could get a scout on it. I think this is far better So we'll go with the officer back up here. This could be much uh, better overall All right, we're gonna head to the victor here All right, this seems great. Uh, well, we should be able to start with this I'm not even gonna reroll because I think it's fine. If we could get a vein here. It would be perfect Beautiful we have that on turn two and we win I'm already predicting the victory beforehand. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm going to do is... Oh, we get a free attack here as well, which is great. So let's go ahead and drop this uh, Zealous Ranger Knight first. I suspect there's probably going to be a unit coming on, so we'll drop this immediately. Oh, crap. No. No, 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 no. What the hell am I doing? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention there. This is minus one. This is one cost, not zero. I thought the golden spatula was zero cost. If not, I would have, uh, you know, applied it on this thing officer. So we get the scout and it triggered regardless. Well, my mistake. My bad. We're just going to resolve it. 
My apologies, guys. My sincere apologies. And it has a Sting Office of its own, so it wouldn't have mattered regardless, even if we had the Golden Spat. Alright, it's cool. We're just gonna attack with everything. Not a great start, but, uh, you know, I think it should be fine. Probably just a slight little hiccup from me so far. Paint on. Demons walk among us, masquerading as men. Alright, I know that Victor's gonna come on. We're gonna attack first. Tumble, Vein, Golden Spat, and we win. Expertly done. Now to root out the next. All right, a little bit sloppy start there, but I think it should be fine. We get a free attack on the Legion Grenadier. That's kind of massive. We're gonna pick this up. Let's head to the shop here. Grab a power, of course. We get a mana gem is big. We're picking this up, no question about it. We could get a turn one vein potentially. That's kind of crazy. All right, we're going to pick this up. I see a Z up ahead, which is kind of scary. But let's see if there's any other cards that we could uh, we, we might want to grab. We got a Sumpworks map with an elusive here. When you play a spell, reduce my cost by one. That could be kind of useful, actually. Um, minus two cost on the shoe breaker. These are all really, really good. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't think we necessarily need any of these because we are doing fairly well at the moment, right? Yeah, we are doing fairly well at the moment. Okay, I tell you what, I'm not gonna purchase anything because the last thing I want to do is to get too many cards and we don't get, you know, we don't draw the cards that we need. All right, so we're just gonna leave all of this. Let's just head to the Z here. Uh, Z is duplicate as well, which is kind of bad, but I think it should be fine. Oh no, why the hell does it have the attack token? Hmm, this could be the one thing that be that 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 contributes to our downfall. Duplicate Z with the attack token is probably the worst thing to face, uh, period. Whatever champion that you use in the ace hall, because that Z's gonna strike, it's just gonna deal Nexus damage. I just hope that we don't have to, you know, surrender and retry again, because this is really problematic. I think if there's one thing that needs to be addressed in the Aurelian Soul Run, it's probably the Duplicate Z, but that's probably just my opinion. Alright, so we have a Darius and a Golden Spat. We don't really need that many Golden Spats, because we are generating it. So we're gonna reroll this, reroll this, and we don't need the Kynarded Recruit, because it's kinda expensive. We need cheap units to potentially just stall out the Z here. This vein is, uh, I can't see the health. This is, this is another thing that I hope the, you know, the game addresses. Certain times the, what is it, the items are blocking the uh, health stat and whatnot. Well, you could, of course, calculate it by manually, but I don't think everyone remembers uh, the base stat of every champion here. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I might just go ahead and drop a Faithful Wolf Dog here. Just to block the two Zs here. <laughs> Oh, this is 30 damage, right? Yeah, this is kind of bad because, you know, we need to... 20, 35, 10, 10... Oh, this is 30 damage. We're gonna commit it, but this is 30 damage here. You'll see why it's 30. Oh my god, it's not even 30 because the Z level is up here. It's just gonna immediately kill. Yeah, this is the one thing that I think really needs to be addressed in the ASOL battle. Because if the Z gets the attack token uh, with a duplicate, it's just unplayable. You can't do anything. You cannot respond to it. Uh, because the Z here is just going to attack with the, uh, what is it, the play in the darkness here. It's just going to strike the Nexus. Right, we're going to have to surrender here because we can't do anything. Uh, you know what, I'll just let it commit just to, sh you know, proof of concept just to show you what's going to happen. For those of you who are new, of course.
See what I mean, guys? Uh, I think if there's one thing that really needs to be addressed, it's this. I don't mean to, you know, complain too much, but yeah, if there is one battle that needs to be tweaked a little bit, it's the Z into the A soul here. Anyway, we're gonna try this again and see how it goes. Hopefully, we get the attack token because if the Z gets the attack token again, we're dead. We're screwed. And this run is practically over. All right, we're gonna rise again, and we are gonna see and hope that we get the attack token. You have got to be shitting me right now. You have got to be shitting me right here. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Uh, we're going to reroll here, but it's going to be pointless. That Z's going to come on. It's going to attack. It's going to win again. This is unplayable. Duplicate Z with the attack token. Absolutely unplayable. And I'm All right. So we're just going to resolve here, I guess. Well, guys, it's nice. This run was this run was so good, but it all had to end because of a, because of the damn duplicate set. All right, we're gonna commit this. This is the final moments of the run, and I will talk to you later. Well, guys, that is the end of the run, and I am lost for words, quite frankly. Uh, you know, I, I really don't want to get into a whole rant or anything because, you know, the for me personally, I don't really like doing that. Um, but one thing I must say, Duplicate Z and Attack Token needs to be really, really fixed. It is just absolutely unplayable. Uh, you need to pick up powers that actually have, you know, enough units to stall out the Nexus. Uh, well, not stall the Nexus, but stall out the attacking cards. Which I think, in my opinion, is kind of detrimental. Because if you need to get a power that will actually fill up the board in order to block the Z, what's the point, basically? Because the whole reason of getting powers is so that you are able to take advantage of that. But if I need to get a power specifically to block the Z, I think that's fairly redundant. And this was such an amazing run as well. I think you guys can see for yourself clearly throughout the entirety of this run. Free attack here, Colossal Hammer, Phage, and whatnot, as well as double stuns here with the mana flow. And of course, with the way we're playing the vein. Yeah, this was such a god tier run. It's just such a shame that it had to, you know, go down because of some uh, potentially untested, uh, you know, encounters here as well, uh, if, if pertaining to the Z, if, if that's the right way to put it. But yeah, uh, hopefully this gets addressed or fixed later on. I think this could be a really, really big problem, a really game-breaking problem potentially. Uh, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this run. I really wish you could get to the ASOL. I think we'll attempt this one at a time because, you know, as you can see, Vayne is really, really strong. We should have no problem getting to the ASOL, but like I said, it's just so unfortunate that the Z there with the duplicate and the... Uh, you know, attack token, which I, I really don't want to repeat this too many times. I don't really want to whine here on the channel. But yeah, with the Z and the attack token, it's unplayable. Unplayable at, you know, at uh, under any circumstance. You saw in the first battle as well, before the revive, we had 35 health. Uh, the two Z strikes, the two, you know, ephemeral Z strikes, courtesy of the duplicate. It strikes twice, levels up. The Z goes to a 22. It immediately kills the Nexus. There's no way of playing it if the Z gets the attack token. So, yeah, I think that's really something that needs to be looked into. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this filled run here with Vayne, this unnecessary filled run here with Vayne, if you will. Uh, and if you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing. I really do appreciate your support. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of Legends of Runeterra or Path of Champions content just like this one. And with that being said, this is Kevlo signing off. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for joining me as well. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.